It's Marathon morning. We're just at the start pen now. Nerves are starting to kick in quite a bit. It's the scale of what's going on today. I'll be okay once I start running. It's just this waiting a break that is uh, making me nervous. The keys to the toilets are massive, luckily. Don't need to go. I'll see you at the start. Just set up. What's <laughs> that? Let's go and see if we can find him in Muzzleba. I'll do a, I'll do a Michael. Five k in. Feeling okay. Oh, I'm pretty much downhill from the start. Going a little bit too fast. Not too bad though. Support so far. It's been absolutely incredible. See you again. Well, it's 5k mark, by the way. See you again. See you again at the 10k mark. Just going through 10k. The support is absolutely incredible. I feel really good. Trek through the city now, all the way to Muzzleborough. Well, to get the train to Muzzleborough. And we'll see if we can catch him at the coast. Fingers crossed. 11:37 train. I'm goosed. I'm all I'm doing is walking. He's still got 20 odd miles to go. Oh, so proud of you, Michael. Really, really am. Oh, absolutely proud. Oh, I'm tearing up thinking about it. Oh, you do yourself proud, do me proud, do everybody proud. But most of all, just enjoy it, lad. I'll see you in Muzzleborough. I do apologise, Michael, but by the looks of it, you're, uh, you're way in front. I don't know if you could see on that map. But you're, uh, I've missed you. I do apologise. I'll see you at the finish line, bud. Keep it up. Proud of you. Okay, turn it off. 22k in. Still feel all right. It's been a little bit warm, so needed a bit more fluids than I thought. Pace is looking good. Currently under 225 goal, so fingers crossed. I'll see you in a few minutes when either I've stopped or we're still running. 21 miles in. Oh, we're officially on plenty. Plenty. Let's mind you. Uh, oh, f you know. Oh, not running. I'm in so much pain, it's unreal. I'm crossing that finishing line. I'm crossing it running. Oh, don't think I'm going to be able to walk tomorrow.
He's him doing his life and he's finished. He's absolutely finished it, he smashed it. What a legend. So proud of you, Michael. Well done. I'll see you in a minute. Well done. Thank you very much. You'll get your t shirt in the bottle of water. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have another one, please, mate. Thank you. So, I wasn't expecting doing this um, race video calls out in Wigan, but in the uh, the heat of the race on Sunday, I completely forgot I needed to do one. So. Here we are, officially having completed a marathon. The official time for my marathon was 4 hours 37 minutes and 16 seconds. As you've just seen in the video, I didn't go to plan really. Um, we ended up on plan C, but still a pretty respectable time. I think there's definitely another video in um, what we could change going forward, what did it work out, just a more in-depth look at the actual uh, race on Sunday. The section that really uh, I think ended my race, it didn't end the race but the section that really uh, affected me was the we came off the coastal road and went into like a a park and there was a section in there there's like a, a loose gravel poorly maintained gravel path and as soon as I started running on that I started to lose all stability and my legs were having working overtime to try and balance and then I just stay again really really bad cramp in my quads yeah so once the cramp had started that was it then it was uh i was in a lot of pain for the rest of the race i was uh start running manage about 500 800 meters and then start cramping up again so I'd have to stop yes so the the end of the race just turned into a bit of a run walk but I think overall a great experience the support for the crowd was incredible I actually thought I was recording the end of it but it looks like I recorded 30 seconds of my old t-shirt turn the camera off and thought I was recording the uh, the end of the race, but oh well, stuff happens. We're for next time. I take a bit of time at the end of this training series just to thank everybody who's um, put up with the videos for the past uh, 15 weeks. Uh, I didn't expect anybody to actually watch these, and actually met a few of you at the uh, the race on Sunday. Big shout out to Geff again for the uh, donation to the fundraising. Uh, it was nice to see you before the race. Also had a great conversation with uh, Tom in the uh, start then. So thank you both for uh, coming up saying hello. It really means a lot. Also want to give a big shout out to uh, Ian for coming with me to Edinburgh and filming the bits you did because without you I don't think there would have been uh, much footage of the day since I had a habit of not recording but in all seriousness uh, watching your little uh, segments back when I was uh, editing the video uh, brought a tear to my eye I know you're an emotional person but I could see your uh, I could see you are tearing up as you are talking. I suppose we really should cover what's next on the channel. There's going to be one more Edinburgh theme video uh, just going over the whole race, 
what worked in the plan, what didn't, what I was going to change. One question I've had since uh, getting back is, would I do another one? And I think the answer to that is 100% yes. Maybe not Edinburgh, try something different next year. But maybe Manchester, a bit close to home. Anyway, thank you all for watching over the past uh, 16 weeks. Thanks to everybody who's donated. We raised a massive £580 the last time of um, last time looking. Thank you very much. It really means a lot. And I suppose, as Ian said, let's do a Michael one last time. See you in a bit, guys.